Hello everybody, Black Hearts Pop Culture here today with somewhat of a different type of uh, Build-A-Bear review. Uh, this one is not really one of my, uh, of any of my uh, Pokemon plushies and or uh, anything to do with Pokemon in itself. As I have said uh, previously before when I made this hopefully last um, title change to my YouTube channel that I was going to do a lot more than just doing always Pokemon all the time. So, uh, with that in mind, as you probably would see through this thumbnail, I'm doing a particular uh, plushie. I'm really trying to do a lot more than just one particular thing. In which this particular one that you, all majority of you, all people should know exactly uh, the specific character. I mean, once again, seeing the thumbnail of what I'm going to be reviewing. So, uh, without any more explanation on the subject, I'd like to all introduce to you. May, uh, Lee, uh, I know it's Maylin Lee for the actual character, uh, this is my, uh, turning red, Maylin Lee, uh, red panda, uh, Build-A-Bear, as you can see by, uh, by her foot right there with the Build-A-Bear seal, or not seal, the little, little an emblem right there on the foot. Uh, I'm not entirely sure exactly by now. Uh, I know the one that I got this from for um, the Build-A-Bear Workshop that they're uh, no longer having this in stock. I'm not entirely sure if this is still in stores for all well, specific locations and or on the website only itself that um, you could still probably get uh, this particular plushie. Uh, I would like to say uh, very soft, very nice fur that it comes with, uh, very nice and shiny too. Um, really nice and cuddly, uh, you know, nice little body to hold when you want to either watch Turning Red or at least whatever else you want to watch. Her tail's nice and really, uh, you know, nice, you know, good, big, you know, like, not like too big, not too poofy or anything. Um, also too around the base is really nice as well, not like really anything like, you know, to really be too concerned with, but I would say make sure, you know, you, you, you're really gentle with the tail because you don't want anything happening. Um, really nice, you know, like with the, you know, arms and legs and everything, really nice and soft. Uh, apparently nothing with, like, a sound button or anything, surprisingly, you know, you think at the very least there'd be the one, uh, four-town song that they would have probably done with for, uh, you know, one thing they could have had, or maybe, like, a couple of phrases that, uh, Maylee, uh, Maylee did in the movie. But above all else, I'm really happy to be get uh, that I have gotten this uh, around the time. I don't know if it was either before, like maybe one week before, or this was already way past when I got to see the movie on uh, Disney Plus, which I have seen a couple times so far. So I have, you know, I, I'm pretty familiar with um, the movie in and of itself. Really great movie. Uh, surprisingly, to how popular it actually gotten. I mean, I just was looking at it on, I think, a Wikipedia, and it's already got, like, a, I think what from Metacritic was, like, uh, 85%. I think even the same thing. Rotten Tomatoes, I think it was around, like, 80 to 90%. Uh, like, uh, eight, out of, uh, 8 out of 10s. Like, you know, it was actually a pretty good movie. And surprisingly, that this is one of the very few ones that they've done so far for Disney that they uh, only did it through Disney Plus and didn't decide to shows and movies, which I can just imagine if some people actually, or at least if they were able to, uh, to do something like how they did with Enchanto, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people would go to pay to go see this on the big screen, or at least maybe start off with it being on the screen, and then later on being in Disney+, Plus. so that way at the very least you can draw up some more merch, because it seems like you know there's like a whole bunch of merch, and I have seen on like, uh, the Disney uh, website that they have a lot of uh, stuff for uh, turning red, but it just seems so strange how like a lot of merch like in specific stores that I've go gone to, and maybe one department store that I haven't really seen anything of like you know hats, t-shirts, like a whole bunch of other stuff. It just it seems like anything like Amazon or the Disney store in of itself hasn't really had anything of uh, particular stuff that you know you could uh, go out and buy. You know, either before, during, or at least as it is now, months after that, uh, the debut of Turning Red. But once again, really nice uh, movie about, you know, uh, a girl turning into more of a woman. You know, and it technically, what was once uh, at the beginning point of the movie, depending on, and I'm sorry for spoilers for this movie, but basically going through the changes of being from a girl to a woman 
considering the fact that Disney at one time before, way around the time that Walt Disney was still alive, was trying to do something of what would be the menstruation cycle. I don't know exactly. I can't remember exactly what the name of the the thing he was supposedly doing. Who knows if it's a, a urban legend or not, but from what I remember seeing in one video that he was, or somewhat so to be, that they wanted to do like an educational film. And if anything, I kind of figured that uh, Disney and Pixar kind of, tried, you know, finally got to do something like that. Not entirely so that it being directly to, you know, and that somewhat thought of what's going on in the first place before they, you know, later on, you know, now figure out what, what is, which, I mean, you know, it wasn't exactly what it is. It's somewhat of a metaphor of what it kind of represents other than growing up being, you know, more of an adult compared to how you were as a kid, especially in around the 2000s as well. Other than that, uh, to the majority point, uh, part of the point, it also kind of raises questions concerning the fact that technically it wasn't really what you think it is in the movie. It kind of makes you think, especially how she changes from being a little girl into a red panda, you know, the kind of implication, especially how it go, how the process goes in itself. Like, once she does get into that time in her life that she has to worry about stuff like that, and especially with her feelings, I can just imagine the awkwardness in certain times you know her, her growing up more and more into a full woman or at the very least going through specific trials and tribulations that womanhood ends up having to be but i know if anything hopefully they'll do a sequel and depending on if it's going to be years later or hopefully maybe something in a different way i mean not saying i really want it to be turning to how it was in the for the first movie but i'm pretty sure there's going to be something that you can possibly put in a different direction, but still have the same character and that's still growing up and whatnot, but like, you know, other stuff too. Cause I'm pretty sure with how Malin Lee and you know, the whole entire thing for turning red, uh, has gone, you can do so much more with this, uh, particular type of character and, you know, make it more than just one particular movie. So other than that, not really much I have else I have to say. Um, like I said before, really nice, soft and cuddly, very nice cuddling, uh, plushy, Really nice and soft. Uh, make sure you add anything I would have to say. Not that it's like too bad fur kind of thing, but just make sure you're uh, you're not doing anything with Velcro or anything because I'm pretty sure this is like a lot of uh, particulars I prefer that will snag at some point. Other than that, uh, again, it's really shame that there wasn't like a five in one sound button for either one of the, uh, the one particular song from Four Town or at the very least a couple of things that Malin Lee could possibly say. I mean, you could possibly do the sound recording thing, but, like, you know, it, it would have been a lot better if they had actually uh, the 5 and one or something like that. So, other than uh, that much I have to say about this particular Build-A-Bear, and also my thoughts on the movie in itself, which, depending if you guys want a more in-depth uh, of how I felt with the whole entire movie, other than what I just said so far before, like, I, you know, I can have... You know that I ha that I would have more of an opinions that I would like to do if uh, you all would want me to do a review on the movie in of itself. So uh, with that in mind, and uh, that being somewhat of what I wanted to say, thank you guys all for watching my uh, video. If you have subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. If you have subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that bell notification so you get any notifications of present and future videos. If you like this video, give it a like. If you have any suggestions you want to see for my next video, anything you want to see on my YouTube channel, or anything at all, write down in the comment section below. Thank you guys all for watching my video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.